Good morning, everybody, and welcome back into HSN. My name is Guy Yovan. I'll be with you for the next two hours. I am really, really excited. We got two great shows for you. We're going to start you off with some outdoor solutions, get you ready uh, for springtime and summertime, and then we're going to move inside. We've got the premiere of uh, KitchenAid Stand Mixer. Finally here. We're excited about that in hour number two. But thanks so much for joining us. As always, we'd love to hear from you. We'll put our testimonial line up from time to time to see uh, if you want to share any of your stories about what we have. We're going to start you off with Fieldsmith. This is our hanging planter baskets. I have presented this probably two or three times, I think, Carrie, over the last month. You guys are going crazy for it. Why? It's the simplest way to create a beautiful look in or around your home. And I'm telling you, it takes about five minutes to do. It's so beautiful. What you're looking at is a couple of the baskets that we have already done for you. And you can see how gorgeous they are. When you walk into your property, they just hang there. There are layers and layers and layers of beautiful flowers. You can add a pop of color to any porch or any entryway. It's fun. It's easy to do. And you can create the most beautiful uh, living arrangement. So what we've got for you is we have a two-pack of these planter baskets. Carrie's going to show you how to put them together in a sec. The, the uh, 10 inch for two is $24.95. If you want to get two of the 15 inch, that's only $34.95. Carrie Mobley, yeah. our resident gardening expert. Good morning. Expert. Hi, how are you? Uh, it's so good to see you. Oh, yeah. I have so to show you. This is what you get at the, this is what you get at the well, store. Well, yeah, this is what happens with <laughs> traditional hanging baskets. Right? I mean, we all love baskets because they're easy and you don't need a ton of space. But if you're not diligent about watering them, almost once every single day at the least, you end up with dead plants. But I want to introduce you to these baskets because they have some really amazing qualities to them. I have one tucked underneath here so I can kind of show you what it looks like when it comes to you. So basically, what plants need to survive in baskets are a couple of important things. First of all, it needs water. This basket has about a one inch trough in the bottom that's going to help make sure that you get some extra wiggle room if you can't get out to water it all the time. It it also needs air. Plants need air. So you can see all of these little windows not only are going to help you get that 360 degrees of plants, but it's also going to allow air to come in and to go out. And then, so I'm just going to show you how this works. So yep. basically, you can use your imagination. I started to build this one out when I got here this morning with fresh herbs. I that. think it's a fun way to do something that you can use so inside the fun. house as yep. well. And then you simply just go to the nursery or to whatever that gardening store that you like is. Pick out some plants that you like, and you know what? They're not expensive. And then all you do is you, know, you I like pop to help it in. You. I love it when you do. You <laughs> go from the outside in, and then you take this little window, right? And you place it right around the stems of the plant, and you pop it into place. And so now what you're gonna get is that 360 degrees. And again, it doesn't cost a lot of money. Right. It just takes up a small amount of space. Do you need a window for yours? I just need to give you a little I'm door. Take the flower. I'm letting you do all the windows. Okay, perfect. So, yeah. So the windows snap on so that all you see is sort of a little trellis behind it. And that's what feeds the uh, the, the plant right through. And you just take that, you know, you buy them the, the plants in like a little tray. Right. And now can you see what we're doing here? Can you see how already the bottom is starting to is starting to fill in. We're going to fill this whole thing in, and, and what happens is over a couple of weeks' time, mm -hmm. when they start to grow, they start to cascade, yeah, and they and are so see. yeah. Let me take beautiful. you guys back here yeah. real quick to check these I'll out. Walk behind here. So down here by Guy, this is one of the mini baskets, and so look at they fill in so nicely, and this one is filled with a lot of greenery and ferns. Look at how gorgeous that is. I mean, you're going to look like a professional gardener. These here, right here, this one, this is the terracotta of the ultimate basket. And again, just a wide variety of plants and foliage in here. It's just really a, a nice focal piece to yeah. either in the garden or hanging by your front door. <clears throat> and check this one out. Same thing. This is the mini as well. It's just adorable. I absolutely love it. And then we have down here as well, lots of ferns and greenery in here. And Look when you water... You don't even see the... No, you, you don't even see the what color it is. <laughs> the great awesome. thing is... Because you can see that all of these plants that I'm planting right in here, all of the roots are going to be right in the center. So what that means is when you water, you just have to water right in this middle section, and it's going to nurture and give hydration to all of these. I mm -hmm. love gardening. Yeah. You want to let's finish one. I always yep. like to do one from start to finish. And while you're while you're loading that up, mm -hmm. I want to step in the front. And I want to show everybody what you're going to get because you have some choices here. So <clears throat> when you order, they come in a two pack. So you decide whether you want the 10 inch or you want the 15 inch. 
Uh, the 10 inch is a little more affordable. It's a little bit smaller. So for a lot of people, you know, maybe you don't want that huge thing in front of the house. You want something a little smaller. Or and remember, you can put these indoors or outdoors. Doesn't matter wherever you've got some sunshine. So when you order, you'll get two of the large. Now here's the terracotta. So that's what you'll get. And then you'll see that inside when you get them, they have the chain. So this is for hanging it up. You don't have to necessarily hang them if you don't want. You're going to get two of those. It comes in black. And then you'll see the two pack is the same. So you'll get two of the, of the smaller size in terracotta or black. Each one comes from the chain with the chain. They're only $24.95 or $34.95. And I will tell you, when you get finished with it, and it'll probably take you, all right, let's say conservatively, let's say it takes you 30 minutes yeah. to put it together. Oh, that's that's it's way too long. It's the best, right. It's probably, it'll probably take you 10 minutes. But anyway, it's the best thing. You will feel so proud of yourself. If you don't think you have a green thumb, where do you do this? All right, so Carrie, explain yeah. to us what you got going on now. So once you do each layer, you add just another bit of on soil. Top. And you know what I mm -hmm. do? I just get like potting soil. It's got some extra little foam pieces. Yeah. And that helps just keep that kind of circulation of air. So now we've done the whole bottom section, right? We've got fresh That's herbs, so cool. beautiful flowers. Yeah. I love this. And now we just get to start throwing stuff on top. I'm going to do some more fresh herbs yep. on top. And you just kind of make some room in there and pop them in there. There's okay. really no wrong way to do this. You can mix a variety of things. I like picking out my plants. Like I pick out produce at the grocery sure. store. It's like, what looks good today? What feels yeah. good? Get what something looks the that healthiest? has some buds on it. You don't want to buy them. You know, a little trick. You don't buy them when they're all already open Agreed. because then they're going to be dead in, in, in a week's time and then you're going to have no buds. So buy one that's kind of like at the beginning, sort of midway uh, to blooming. That's a great idea too. If you're buying something to like, you know, like impatience or things like that that have multiple flowers, you don't have to worry so much. Uh, but like I, I bought a, a, a rose bush for the house for a planter, you know, for a planter outside or a, a potted plant. And, you know, you don't want to get them all, like I said, already open. So, right. so that's a little trick that you probably already know. Anyway, you can see now we've been only working on this for about three minutes and you can see how it's coming together you're not limited to if you don't want to do flowers you can do herbs in here as carrie said you could you could do tomatoes you know the little uh, uh, potted tomato type things i love what you did oh here. my gosh this succulents that's Look. the other thing this has not been watered i'm not even joking in probably 10 days that's the great thing about succulents, Look especially for these baskets, because they're so hot right now and people yeah. don't know what to do with it. Right. This is a perfect thing to do. Hey, real quick before I forget. Yeah, I want to talk yeah, about your gloves. I do. I want everybody to see these gloves. These are called the second skin gloves. And what I love about these um, is that I can still feel, right? One of the reasons that I love gardening uh, with bare hands is because I like to feel the roots. I need to feel how wet, you know, how much moisture my soil has, things like that. With these second skin gloves, not only can I still feel that? We've got these nice little rubberized piece, uh, pieces on the tips to make sure that I can get some gription. But when I take them off, my hands are completely clean, absolutely clean. And so my jewelry can stay clean. My watch can stay clean if I want to wear a watch, but yet I can still feel, I still get that tactile experience yeah. that is a gardener this I is love. Uh, they're $20 if you want to pick them up and they're on FlexPay for $9.98 and you'll see us using throughout the show. Uh, so, you know, that's, that's the thick thing with gardening. If you get yourself all the tools that you need to do it right. We are getting to the point where we're almost finished with that first basket. In the meantime, again, look at some of the baskets behind and realize what happens. And we've had these out here for, for uh, some weeks now yep. what happens is the whole thing fills out and the basket sort of disappears and boy you know when you're talking about curb appeal I've got solar lights coming up next in just a bit too things that make your house look great when people drive by it's things like solar lights you know light up lighting um, plants out front flowers what is it what does it cost you to take two hanging baskets and we give you the hardware just put the little uh, eye hooks you know up in the in the wherever you're gonna hang them and hang them there I mean, think about mm. how little effort that is and what a big ah. difference. When you drive by a house and you see hanging flowers, it's all, it makes all the difference. It, and if we know what a hard, difficult winter it was. I'm from Michigan, you're from the Northeast, and so I just love that we can do something special that doesn't take a lot of money, that doesn't take a lot of time, that's really easy, but it still allows you to feel like, hey, spring has landed at my house. I absolutely love fresh flowers, and all it needs is a little bit of watering, but this basket makes it 
it so easy because everything is right here in the center. And when you water, it'll go right here. All of your nutrients, all of the oxygen is going to get to the plants all through these little windows and doors. And I did this just this morning and look at how great it is. Now, with a couple of weeks and some water, this is going to start to explode and fill down. And then because I put fresh herbs in here, I mean, look, I've got fresh basil over here. Yeah. I have mint. I can grab some mint if I'm going to have some tea or, um, you know, a, a mint julep. You, you could even do fruits. You could do like, you know, uh, if, you, if you do strawberries or tomatoes or things like that, they'll grow great in there as well. It's, uh, this is also ideal for folks that don't have a big house and maybe live, you know, in an apartment, have a little deck outside and want to bring something outside. One of the biggest things that we started with talking about this too is the maintenance. It, it, it's very easy to take care of. You don't have to water 15 different things. You put a little water in the top, and like I said, if you're going away for a couple of days, you can load it up. There's a little trough in the bottom that will hold extra water so that you get, like we said, a little bit of wiggle room if you happen to forget or if you go away for the weekend, you don't have to worry so much about it. Um, but look at, how, look at how beautiful that is, and you see how it comes together. And like we said, it has not even started to grow yet. When it starts to grow, it'll start to trickle down. So um, let's, we're going to pull up the, uh, the item number again for the gloves, which mm -hmm. is 591342. Uh, a good pair of gardening gloves is... is very important when you're gardening out there. And you know, there's a lot of industrial gloves, carry that are kind of big and bulky, but it's hard to kind of manipulate those. Yeah, right down here. So, and here, I'm gonna just grab that whole box out here. Yeah. So these Here's are the our color choices. Mm -hmm. You are going to get two of them. So it is a two pack. I'm wearing yeah. the blue right now. Um, I can still feel moisture, right? And so I'm still gonna be able to feel the wetness of the soil, still sure. gonna be able to feel those tiny yeah, they're little not waterproof, roots. Right. They're not waterproof, but yet when I take them off, and you can see, look at how dirty the tips of these are. I've been digging in the soil the entire time. When I take them off, not a single bit is on my nails. And this is important not just for me because I'm in television and I want to make sure that my hands are mm -hmm. always looking well manicured, but because I'm a human being on planet Earth and you want are. to make sure that I still <laughs> present myself well, even That's though right. I'm a gardener and I'm digging think, in the dirt. I don't want to think down of you, Carrie Baldwin, with your dirty fingernails. <laughs> you would, though, wouldn't you? I would. I'd be like, People man, will judge you. <laughs> dirty fingernails. Uh, it's so, no, again, well, you're going to get two of them. A lot of people won't garden because of that, because they're like, oh, it's a mess and I don't yeah. want to deal with it. Um, so putting on a nice pair of gloves keeps you protected from that. Also, you know, like with succulents and things like that, that have little pokey things that stick out, little thorns. And, you know, if you have cactus, um, like we've got the little baby cactus plants in here, you don't have to worry so much about getting those little things into your fingers. And so on that kind of same note, if you want to use these for even non-gardening things, like I consider taking my Christmas tree in and out around sure. the holidays, right? Mm -hmm. Or if I'm doing some light housework and I don't want to get my hands all yucky sure. from whatever I'm cleaning, or even like cleaning out the garage, you know, things like that, where you just want to keep your hands protected but you still want to make sure that you can feel things you still want to make sure that you have that tactile experience to feel the edges on things to feel the moisture in the plants that you're planting these are perfect what an amazing price for this and you're going to get two of them they're also machine washable so toss yeah. them right into the washing machine hey, i want to remind everybody if you want to pick up shepherd hooks we have those two to go along with this so you can hang your plants uh, util utilizing those if you'd like something a little more uh, low profile we have those at 24 dollars 95 cents Hey, we've got a special coming up and we're only gonna spend a couple minutes on it, but I think it's one of the coolest things in decor that I've seen here. I never saw this until today. I know brand you and I were talking about yep. it. It's, it's brand new, but I only have a handful of these to go around. It's our sun wall decor. It's $49.95. It's all, this is all, all metal. Mm -hmm. And then you've got the little uh, glass bulbs. These, this is a solar light that lights up at night. And if you, if you cover up the panel, and I think Carrie can show you, Check it out. Do it. Do it a yep, couple times, Gary. Watch. This so 15 is, LED lights. There's only a hundred left. Okay. Wow. I love stuff like this because maintenance-free. You know, it comes with everything you need. The rechargeable batteries are already built in, and this is something you could put up on a wall outside. Uh, you know, you're going to need a little sunshine. It lights up for about six or seven hours. Uh, put this outside. Put it in your garden. Put it up against a tree. Wherever you want to put it. It is. Look at how spectacular that is. Gosh, I, I love, love it. So I it's love got sunshine that, star things like that. Oh, too. me too. And you yeah. know what? Because they're they're kind of um, androgynous, right? It's not super yes. feminine. If you have a male gardener no, cool. in your life, we've got about 15 of these LED That's lights. Awesome. Isn't that gorgeous? Yes. It's very reminiscent of that kind of old Hollywood or that old New York theater with the nice big bulbs on there. Yeah. 15 of them. The solar panel is on top. By the way, this is all metal and it's UV treated. There's 80. So 
so you're never going to yeah. have to. Yeah, it's going, going that quick. fast. So I only had a hundred. It was kind of a quick little sort of a, a quick uh, hit, sort of still in mention as we call it. But there's only about eighty. So if you want to get it, I'm hoping there's at least one left. I would love to. You know where I would put this? I have a chimney. That's oh. in the backyard, and I'd like to put it up against, like, on the chimney. Yes, absolutely. So, There's a hook on yeah. the back, so anywhere you want to hook it. But I just think it's really special. It's unique. And I do a yeah. lot of solar products here. This one is awesome. Look at how cool this is. And look when I touch this here. And this is metal. It's not plastic. This is metal. And, and it's of course UV the treated. Bulbs. Yep. Yep. Never going to fade. How cool is this guy? What a Love wonderful, it. wonderful decoration for your outdoor area. And to be honest with you, it'd be pretty cool inside too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I'm mean, you wouldn't you. be able to get the solar powered in yeah, it. Unless you put it on your porch, right? And then bring it inside. Yeah. Sure, you could do that. $49.95. We'll let you know when that sells out. It's on FlexPay, $16.65. So speaking of solar lights, and thank you so much, mm -hmm. Carrie. Uh, Peter Kilcullen is standing by inside. Peter's got in my opinion, one of the best sets of solar lights that we do because it's a, first of all, you get eight, which will allow you to do all around your house and patio, but I also love the styles. Uh, here's Pete to get you started and I'll meet him inside. Pete. Thanks, Guy. And Guy's on his way in, but he is right. We have a great set of solar lights. And as Guy was talking about, one of the easiest ways to transform your outdoor landscape. So maybe you've spent a lot of time developing all your, your garden area, your plants, your shrubs, everything looks amazing. What about then adding solar lights so you can continue to have that beautiful look of your landscape, but now at night. Look at that, that set of eight solar lights. And we have two choices, but I want you to see that, that you've got a set of eight, that beautiful warm light along the driveway, along the pool, definitely along the walkway. These are incredible lights. And just like they were talking about with that marquee sun, all of this happens automatically. You're gonna be able to put your lights out there and then you are gonna be able to have them come on automatically powered by the sun. When the sun goes down, these lights are gonna pop on. You're gonna get that eight hours of runtime. There's that solar panel. And one of the things I want you to notice about, now this is our marine style right here is that these are very large lights. So not only do they cast beautiful light in the evening, but these are this beautiful bronze color. They're a large light that's gonna look great during the day as well. So think about that. When you put these lights out, it changes that landscaping, it beautifies, it gives you that curb appeal even during the day. So I was showing you the marine, but then we have, we have four up top here, and then we have the four marine and we are, uh, we are calling these our, uh, sorry, the marine, <laughs> this, this is the marine down here. And then these are the faceted on the top. And there's Guy Yovan. Hi, Pete. Yeah, sorry. I was That's all right. <clears throat> the two different names that we call them. Uh, I have my own names. Huh? No. <laughs> you know what I love about, about these, though, is, is I love the unique style and how gorgeous they are. Right. I like that. I like this, especially the, the marine lantern, which you'd said it's kind of like a buoy. Like yeah, you see the see lantern on a buoy. Exactly. Yeah. Um, for, for an eight pack of these at $64.95, it's, it's probably one of the best prices we've ever done on an eight pack. That's well, exactly. Sure. And I was describing how, how what a large size these are. Not only how tall they are, but also just how large the lens is, all of those things. And there they go. Oh our, my gosh, our sun came awesome. down yep. and the lights come on automatically. And Guy, what's interesting about these, not only when you choose this the different style between the marine and the faceted, but what you're going to see is that they become because of the different shape of that lens, yeah. you get a different throw of light. So you can even see that down on yeah, the, on the, the display down there, yep. the marine, and then the ones we have in front of us, the faceted. So you have two different throws of light, which, and I think we'll be able to see them in some of the video that we have, yeah. but really a beautiful, warm oh, look light. look at that, Pete. Look at how gorgeous they are. And you can line a driveway with these. You could put them in Definitely. front of your patio if you have a garden area. The nice thing about solar lights, uh, in addition to them being so easy, because there's nothing to connect. I mean, they, they, you just stick them in the ground. There's no wiring. There's no trenching or digging. Uh, you don't have to worry about timers. The, the only thing uh, that you have to do is wait for the sun to come up to charge them. And uh, then at night, they, they light up and they illuminate where you're walking, where you're stepping, where you're uh, coming into your house at night. And I also love the feeling that you get of security, Pete. You know, having yeah, solar lights. Yeah, you like lights. that. I mean, I know we've talked about that before, for oh, sure. yeah. You know, if you're, if you're the boogeyman or bad guy and you're driving through a neighborhood, more than likely you're going to go to a dark house thinking nobody's home. But when you see lights on, 
it, it's always that welcoming feeling. You know, you get home late from work, daylight savings, and it's dark, right? Oh, yeah. And it's so nice when you pull into your driveway and the lights are already on. And these lights will go on automatically. They go on when you're away. So when you're traveling or you're on business or you're on vacation, the lights still pop on every single night. There's nobody to call. You don't need the neighbor to do it for you. They install in a matter of minutes. I mean, literally, you twist the top on, you stick them in the ground. That's all you do. And you've got an instant transformation. There aren't many things, Pete, that you can do that that transform the look of your property so quickly. I mean, think about it. You have to paint your house. You got to do the yard well, work. They're expensive. Yeah. There are a lot of labor involved. Here, you're exactly right. And there's what, as I was describing earlier, look at that during the day. Remember, this is going to change the landscape during the day. There's the faceted. Looks amazing during the day. When the sun goes down, these come on automatically. It is a great look. And, and I was noticing that we were talking about the light. So with this lens and the marine style, you, you actually see the throw of light and you can see all the rings that are here as well. Kind of that's, you know, we talk about that starburst that we get, yes. but this one's a little bit different with those rings. And then with the faceted guy, I think you have one of the faceted there yeah. in front of you. There, you get more of a star design that comes these out of that. Really substantial too. Yeah, when you so hold these. die cast yeah. aluminum, yep. stainless steel, Metal and of course, that lens is glass. And maybe the most important, yeah, I mean, that's a, a yeah. great glass lens. So you can see that in there. And of course, that reflector down the bottom, what that does is intensify. We've got the light coming from the, the top, but then it intensifies that light. So there we have the battery, that super bright, long life LED bulb you're never gonna have to worry about. And that's where it all happens. We're gonna recharge that battery during the day, and then it's going to run that light every single night. And remember, Ed, we can't remind you enough that there's no wiring involved. There's, you don't have to plug anything in. You know, one of my biggest issues with, with uh, electric solar, or electric solar, electric lights, uh, landscape lighting, even trying to set the timer, it's like they make those little pins <laughs> so small and then there's dials and all that. And if the power goes out, guess what? You get to redo it all over again. Uh, exactly. These work with the that. sunshine. When the sun powers them, it charges the battery, which is in pre-installed uh, or comes with it. And then um, as soon as it gets dark, the lights come on. So you get that instant sort of ta-da and they, sh and they shoot on. And they don't need a lot of sun all day long to get that great charge. Uh, and, and you'll find that uh, depending on the type of day, you'll get at least four or five six hours of charge even on a rainy day they'll still absorb some light oh yeah um uh, and obviously you know on a, on a pure sunday you're going to get a little bit more but you enough, get eight hours you'll yeah. be asleep by the time they they, they wind up turning <laughs> off uh, right. and you get up in the morning but what i love too is extra large solar panel on top so that's what soaks in all that that sunshine all day these beautiful monocrystalline panels i like the d the dome design of this helps to channel off the weather so if you have snow or rain and you don't have to put these away in winter time um leave them out they're you know they're a darker color yeah. So they absorb the sun and any snow that's on there actually looks nice when it's on there, but eventually it'll melt. Um, don't go to the home store and buy lights that have plastic lenses, okay? And that, that's why, the, you know, you're like, oh, I got these lights. They were like five bucks a piece. <laughs> yeah, because they're cheap. Uh, and they're made of plastic and they're probably meant to last one season. <laughs> what Peter, we find with the solar lights you bring, people have them year after year after year. Absolutely, and as you said, you're gonna put them out there. They're gonna be weatherproof and waterproof. They're gonna look great. That's, the, that's what you want. You want something that looks great during the day, that continues to look great year after year, and then you get that great performance and that's exactly what you're going to get. There you can see the marine, which I think is a beautiful throw of light. Remember, you can put these anywhere. You just have to really start thinking about, well remember, when you were trying to maybe walk from the front door and then you're walking around it to the backyard and you're just saying, man, it is so dark, scary dark on the side of the house. What if you could add this set of eight solar lights to guide you back there, guide you along that path or you have stepping stones? This is a great spot to put those lights. So all you have to do is think about those areas that you want to highlight at night you add solar lights, you, just, you basically stick them in the ground, it's yeah. seconds, but you make such an amazing change. So if it's just, you wanna beautify, if, it's, yeah. if you said you wanna add some security to those areas, this is gonna do that as well. And then you get that curb appeal during the day. Yeah, and these are a classic light. These are just yes. a beautiful glowing sort of, um, they almost have the gas light color, you know, sort of a, uh, sort of a cool yellow, you know what I mean? The soft lighting, which I love. Yeah. It's it's very romantic looking when you look at your house or property. Uh, it's 
perfect accent lighting. You know, these aren't spotlights. These are lights meant to light up the low-lying areas, your landscaping, your patio, your walkways, your driveway. We get people that buy three sets of these and put them on their driveway. Sure. Uh, so going in, you can, you know, people are like, just follow the lights on the driveway. If you tried to do that with a wired system, let me just tell you, you would probably spend twelve or $1,500 to get somebody out there because you have to trench them. You'd have to run an electrical cord out there, and those are unsightly. Pete used to make fun of me because the first lights I had were the electric lights. And oh, yeah. I tried to tuck the wire in the little, in the little sidewalk crease there and yeah, it, didn't it was quite like right work. across your walkway right across my walkway for, for was people nice. to trip over in the middle of the night um, <laughs> Safety so pressure. yeah so i eventually got rid of them um these also look great even during the day absolutely you'll get a I, I love that look you get a little sparkle off the light there and look at how i, I think it just it kind of just tailors that look right yeah, exactly and we have that this this darker bronze color which really you know that kind of works as a great neutral it's going to work for everyone i know it looks sometimes it looks even black but it really is that beautiful bronze i think everyone's decor can really utilize these lights you're going to absolutely love it the great part is this is something that you can do i know you've thought about it you know maybe you've driven home to your house in the evening and you're like it is just so dark all the time how do i create that atmosphere that you see it maybe your favorite restaurant or a resort that you've been to and that is with lighting so imagine if you could come home to your house and have exactly that those lights guiding you up that front walkway and those are the most popular places think about the driveway maybe four on either side think about the walkway same thing and there you can see the lights are spaced Not close pretty. together what i love about putting these lights out there's no rules you could put 25 feet in between these lights. You could put 100 feet in between yeah. these lights. Or you could put two feet. However you want to display these is going to be perfect. Because you can stick them in the ground, check them out one night, and figure out if they work for you. If they don't, you can just go back out there and rearrange the lights super oh, easy. Yeah. It's only $21.65 <laughs> to get these home. When you order, we'll send you eight of them. Okay, so you're getting them for roughly about $8 a piece. For these lights, that's a great deal. Well, with glass uh, and yeah. stainless but and you've aluminum. You've got aluminum yeah. and stainless and glass. That That's, uh, uh, you know, the, predominantly what these are co constructed of. So you know you're gonna get something that is built to last. Don't buy cheap when it comes to the solar lights because I'm telling you, you'll wind up having to pay that every single year. Um, and trust me, I've done that from experience where you try to get something, you're like, yeah, maybe try this, this version and it just doesn't work out. So anyway, grab them while you can. It's a great deal. <clears throat> we'll send you an eight pack. Just decide whether you want the faceted or you want to go the kind of coach light, marine light. Marine, yeah. uh, we're going to step away. We're going to head outside. we got more cool stuff. Oh, yeah. to stick around. Don't miss a thing with our HSN app, available on Apple and Android devices. Get $10 off your first in-app purchase with code WELCOME10. Opt in to push notifications for early access to exclusive app-only deals. Shop faster than ever with exclusive new product videos, only on the iPhone. Watch HSN Live anytime, any place. And the new shop and search features make finding your favorites easier than ever. Search app on hsn.com to download. It's Project Central around here. With just a little imagination, some of this, a bit of that, the possibilities are endless. Whether you're just getting started or you know your way around a glue gun, we have the supplies and ideas to help get it done. Say Y-E-S to DIY at HSN. Since 2011, HSN Cares and Habitat for Humanity have been helping women realize their dream of home ownership. HSN Cares believes in giving back. You're building lives. HSN actually cares. For the entire month of May, HSN Cares will donate $1 from every at-home item sold during at-home shows. None of this could have happened without your donations. Thank you for helping me make my dream a reality. HSN Cares is the heart of everything we do. We love our gemstones to be beautiful, colorful, and durable. That's why we give some of them a little more love. Enhancements may require special care and may not be permanent, while others may last a lifetime. For more information, visit hsn.com and search gemstone to see our gemstone enhancement chart. So, uh, you know, this is our outdoor solution show. 
<clears throat> if you have watched before and never actually purchased your first pressure washer, we've got a great opportunity for you to do that today. Why do you need a pressure washer? pretty much for everything to clean up around your house. You know, I, I got my first one about three years ago and I got it from Pete and it was from Earthwise, a little bit of a smaller unit, didn't have the power that this one had. I think mine was a 14 or a 1500 uh, PSI. Basically that's just the pressure, the pounds per square inch of water pressure that comes out. This thing will strip and clean anything you need to clean. We're, we're, we've got some old fence posts there, fencing. And that uh, is real mildew on there, okay? That's that nasty mildew. And look at how it's able to strip and clean off. Why? Because it takes your ordinary garden hose and it tur turns it into a high-powered cleaning machine. Why rent one of these when you can own it yourself? Uh, this is a new Earthwise design. Makes it easy to use and port anywhere because it comes on its own little cart, which makes it so much better. And the 1,800 pounds per square inch power will blast away all the winter grime, all the dirt, the dust, the mold, the mildew. Uh, you can clean your house, your deck, your sidewalk, your, your car. It's the best car washer you'll ever see. Uh, if you have a boat, if you have an RV and so much more, it's eco-friendly and it's user-friendly electric power rather than renting one of those gas ones that is awful. Look at the before and look at the after on that. It's hard, it can't be the same fence, but it is. That's the years of sort of oxidation and stuff that kind of develop on your house. If you want to get one of these today, I, we reduce the shipping down to five bucks. It's only $181.95 and you can spread up the payments over <clears> five months uh, for $36.39. And you will be amazed at your own before and afters. Your neighbors are gonna wanna borrow this as soon as they see you out there. But anyway, let me go through uh, the available colors and then we'll go join Pete up on the deck and he'll show you how to, how to clean with it. So um, if you like yellow, I have it available in yellow. We'll go through the design of it and everything. Comes with all the extra tips, all the different degree tips, which make the stream more powerful depending on what you're cleaning. Here it is in purple. And here's what we love about it too. See how it's a little cart? So now it rolls wherever you need to roll it, right? It makes it easy. Uh, here it is in blue. I have it in red. I've got it in green, and then finally I also have it in this gray color. It comes with all the tips. It comes with a little soap container so that you can uh, incorporate whatever time of soap, uh, type of soap it is that you want to put in there. And I will tell you, do not be afraid of a pressure washer. I can understand how you'd be afraid of the one with the with that you got to put gas in. Sure, that's a lot of work, Pete. Absolutely. This, you basically take your ordinary garden hose, you plug it in, you put some soap in there, turn the water on, and squeeze the trigger. Yeah, I right? heard you mention the little soap can, uh, tank. It's a big soap tank Thank now. you. Sorry. It's the it's the largest one we've ever had. It is huge. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look at that. Well, that was an issue that a lot of people said, I have to fill the soap tank all Right, the exactly, right. when you're, you're washing the car. Or what about, you know, putting detergent in there, house cleaner and deck cleaner, you can yeah. do all of that. And you mentioned how it has all those different tips. So 1,800 PSI is perfect amount of PSI, but if you don't have those different cleaning tips to kind of yeah. utilize that power, right. it's not going to be as great. So we give you everything. You did mention and it's in this beautiful cart design. I mean, this to me looks just like those professional pressure sure. washers, you know, that are four or five times as expensive. They or, are. you know, when you have a guy come over to kind of, you know, give you an estimate on doing the driveway with a pressure washer, you know, I'm sure it'll be at least twice what the, the oh, value gas, is gas tonight. Oh, powered pressure washers are like three, or four, Or to have somebody bucks. come and bring it. You know, yeah. I used to always joke that the difference between you and the professional guy who comes to clean your driveway is that he has the machine, that's, right? I mean, hey, that's the difference. Because anybody can pull the trigger. Right, because right? it really, is very simple so again the pavers the driveway I pull that trigger and look at all the buildup that's been on here all winter long and all you're doing is blasting that all away 1800 psi I think it's gonna be perfect you can start further away and you can see that that slight fan design right there and when I need more power Look at that, has how I get closer and closer and can really take advantage of all of that 1800 PSI. But guy, we always talk about this, how you see how you get those instant results, you get that instant gratification, that this really becomes everyone's favorite lawn and garden or outdoor tool because yeah. the fact is there's no elbow grease there's no struggling and sweating you're really not doing everything everything is happening right here the power of that water we're supercharging your garden hose and it is so easy that you you, know, you kind of yeah. like doing this oh, let me tell you, you something. really do if, if you want to get your kids or your grandkids to wash your car buy a pressure washer i never have to ask danny anymore because he's like dad it's so easy i just take the pressure washer over yeah, and I yeah. can just blow all that dirt the grime and the brake dust off the tires it makes your life so much easier Easier. I think for a lot of people, Pete, they think I can't handle a pressure washer. Oh, right. But honestly, all you need to do is when you when you, you turn on the switch, okay, 
and you pop the tip on and you pull the trigger. That's all you need to do. You'll notice there's nothing running while we're not using it. Exactly. You pull the trigger, you get that power, you so, let go. So and you instant set... on, instant off, which right. is the trigger. And this is all you're holding on to. And this whole gun lance is extremely lightweight. I mean, less than a pound. And you're set to go. And here's one of the other cool things about this unit. We have a 25-foot yeah. pressurized hose. So what that means is that even though it's convenient with the wheels to move it around, at 25 feet, I can yeah. do the entire deck. I can walk around the entire car without having to move the pressure washer. So you got a 35 foot electrical cord. So that's what? Hook up your hose. 65, 60 feet yeah, right exactly. there. Exactly, yeah. and then 25 feet here. So when you're doing the house, you're doing the deck, it's incredibly easy. So right here, I changed from that 25 degree tip to that zero degree tip. Now I can clean the outside of the house. And if you have not cleaned the exterior of your house, grab this pressure washer, because I know you remember how great that color used to look. Remember when you had your house painted and it looked fantastic? Well, it's dirty after a long winter, and this is going to get it clean without a lot of elbow grease. Guy, how about this? With the zero degree tip, we can also go to those second story windows. This will shoot that power 16 feet in the air. So you'll clean the windows, the screens, and you'll do it with ease. So just an unbelievable way to clean the outside of your house, to clean the deck, the pavers, the driveway, the yeah. sidewalk, the stepping stones on the side of the house, wooden deck. Now the outside of your house, vinyl siding, aluminum siding, brick face, stucco, whatever it is, this is going to do, do a great job. And for any of those areas, and you were talking about the fences, I was doing that earlier, yeah. you know that you have to prepare that service if you want to stain, if you want to repaint. But most of all, use the pressure washer before you think, this just looks so bad that I need to replace it. Don't replace it. Yeah. You definitely want to use the pressure washer and, first. And again, it's, it's user friendly. I'll, I'll use it right now, but it's user friendly. So if you want to get your kids to utilize this, uh, all it is is just squeezing the trigger and they can they can handle it. Remember that pressurized water comes out very, very quickly. Um, so you want to keep your hands away from the pressurized water when you're squeezing the trigger. Um, but luckily, uh, the the um, the the actual lance here, the actual thing you hold, uh, is about three and a half feet away from the tip, so you're not going to have to worry about that. Um, but using it as simple as I said before, all it is is a quick pull of the trigger. It doesn't operate until you pull the trigger. It's plugged in, it's ready to go, but as you can see, it will come to me, um, when I pull the trigger, it turns on. I'm going to get to me eventually. There we are. So when I pull the trigger it turns on, and as soon as I let go of the trigger, it turns off. If you come over to the brass tip, you'll also notice there's nothing here that's dripping. It is instant on, it is instant off, and that's, I mean, look at that. Turn it on, turn it off, and that's, we'll show you right here. I'll kind of step back a little. See how that works? I mean, that is what's amazing, and when you're cleaning, it's as simple. I mean, look at how quickly I can do these little brick pavers. I mean, it is so easy, and it gets in the cracks and crevices, so um, if you've got uh, tile out there, uh, maybe, you know what I did uh, two weeks ago? I did, I have these, um, they're little, they're, <coughs> they look like sand dollars, and they sell them at the home store. They're actually stepping stones. They were covered in green mold. I went outside, I used a pressure washer. It, that would have taken me forever to scrub by hand. Pressure water did it, uh, washer did it in a matter of uh, just minutes. Let's check in with Pete. I know Pete's on the other side. We talked to you about Pete is, I mean, if you want to get your kids to wash the car, buy one of these, right? Yeah, exactly. Really easy. You were doing a great job in there as well. But now I've gone to 40 degrees. So look at this, a little bit wider on that design. So not as much power, but perfect amount of power to wash that car. So check this out. I'll just get the car all dirty, get that loose dirt off there. But I want to show you this. Now I can go back to the unit because look at this 25 feet of pressurized hose. And all I'm going to do is grab, I'm going to grab that soap tip. So this, as soon as I hook that up, it knows to automatically start dispensing that soap from that huge 64 ounce soap tank. Now look at this, that's all I'm doing, low pressure. You want to make sure you put that soap on with low pressure. But now I can put a tremendous amount of soap on the car, around the wheels, let that do its job. And then it's so quick and easy to go back and forth with these different cleaning tips. I just pull that back. We've got that brass and metal. I mean, it is so simple. So now 40 degree tip again. And now I'm cleaning off the bugs and dirt and grime. Get really close up on the wheels and the tires, the wheel well. This is such a great way to clean that car. You are gonna love it. 
blasting away all the dirt and grime. You can get closer when you need it, close on those headlights. I mean, this is the way to wash the car. You're not, you don't have your hands in that soapy bucket. I'm not getting wet. I mean, that's the way to go. But guy, what's gonna happen is you know that you're gonna grab your pressure washer, you're gonna wash the car, then you're gonna go all around the yard. You're gonna look at the patio furniture. Here's a really neat one. Something else like this fabric back on this, on this chair would be impossible to clean without a pressure washer. And look at that as I'm able to just get all that dirt and grime. If your furniture's been sitting out all winter long, Look at the difference right there, and you can do that. But again, same thing, outside of the house, more patio furniture. You are absolutely gonna love this because you're just gonna walk around the house and get it all done. So guy, if we talk about the top things you're gonna use your pressure washer for, washing the car every week, but washing or cleaning the outside of your house, it's gonna be perfect. Then the deck, the driveway, the sidewalk, all of those things. And guy, we haven't mentioned yet, I'm gonna join you over there, the turbo nozzle also comes with this pressure washer. So, so what's great about it is it gives you a variety of different water power, water pressures to utilize. Because some things you don't need that high pressure for. If you're cleaning your house, you're not gonna need that, that real, real super high pressure. If you are cleaning a deck where you're trying to get mold and mildew, which gets down and soaks into the deck, then you're gonna wanna take that high action tip. And all those are available. Uh, remember, this is gonna help you save money on your water bill too, because if you're using your ordinary garden hose, that actually uses a lot more water than a, than a pressure washer because a pressure washer takes what you have, condenses it so it uses less water as you're, as you're utilizing it. Regular hose uh, is just, it's just wastewater when you're trying to clean with it. So whether you're cleaning your car or your boat or your RV or your house, I used it uh, not too long ago, too, Pete, for, for, uh, to get, uh, I got up on a ladder and I got the gutters cleaned. I got in between the, the, uh, 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 the um, shutters on the house, you know, that's tough to oh, get. Yeah, if perfect. you've got a brick home and you know how that stuff splashes up, uh, you can do that. If you've got a swimming pool, right? How hard is it to clean in and around the swimming pool? Um, all that is included, including that turbo nozzle. Yes. And the turbo nozzle really is the key. That's the one actually that we use to wash our, I use that, to, believe it or not, I use that to wash my car. Well, the great thing is you can use it, and there you're seeing the little card that you get with this to yes. show you suggestions on what tip works for what. Yeah, exactly. What's what works for which job? And then you can see they're all labeled on the back of the cart when you're looking at it. Super simple. But you're going to know right away because they're all different pressures and you're going to find one that works for the job. But that turbo nozzle, which is not even on there, is so great because this is going to cover huge so areas. So the entire driveway. So I want to show you as I do that, look how it creates kind of a, a circle right there. What it's doing is it's spinning that power. That's why we call it a turbo nozzle. And when you fire Fire this up and it sounds like a jet engine. It is unbelievable. Same thing, start further away and if you can cover those large areas, great. You need more power, you just get in close. Yeah. But I use this on the PVC fence I have at home. The white fence always yeah. turns green. You could even use this on the wooden fence as well. Get all that grime off there, all that mold and mildew. Yeah. That turbo nozzle is amazing and you're getting that I All think right. you're gonna love that. Let, let me tell you, we're also throwing in a, a two-year warranty on this thing. Nice. I mean, this thing is gonna last you a long time. And in my opinion, this blows away the one that I have. And I, I have, I actually have it Earthwise, but it's not as powerful. Well, this is the and newest one, right? I, well, I, I also, the, this is a 64 ounce soap container and oh, I, yeah. I go through a lot of soap when I'm washing a car and things like that. So get it while you can. I'm telling you, you're gonna love this. It'll be your best friend throughout the season, especially springtime and summertime and even fall You'll when you're prepping your house again. You will. <laughs> clean the driveway. Clean everything. Everybody's gonna wanna borrow it from you. Just tell them to buy their own. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I wanna remind you too, if you go to hsn.com, We've got available uh, the, um, those are the, what are those? Oh, those are the planter bags. I can't see them from here. So you get the herb or hanging uh, planter bag. Those are a three gallon planter uh, and they make such a great addition to your home when you're trying to, uh, you know, kind of beautify the outside, get some plants growing. Uh, grab these, they come in a variety of colors uh, and they're, they're fantastic. Um, you've got the, uh, what's it called? The potato mini herb hanging uh, or the three, gallon planter and those are what 1995 is that what that says chris nice deal on those if you want to pick those up all right 
We saved something real special for the end of the show. Last time Peter and I presented this, people went crazy. Uh, it's that time of year, and if you're looking for the uh, manicured look for your property, um, and you want something that is simple and easy to use, totally cordless, in fact, it only weighs about five pounds, then you need our Earthwise 24-volt string trimmer. Um, these are fantastic. <clears throat> Thank you, Peter. Um, a, because like I said, anybody can handle these. They're adjustable. They have an adjustable handle for comfort, uh, adjustable cutting width, but I think what people love about it is that it automatically feeds the, uh, the line to the trimmer so you never have to deal with that. Here's what I love about it is that normally with a trimmer, you're tethered to a cord. This has no gas. There's no electricity. I'm good to go. I got my glasses on. Thank you, Meredith. Um, this is, I believe, the only airing today. And I believe also it's on free shipping. Today's the day to buy it. And a 24 volt means you're gonna get at least about 30 minutes worth of run time on this, which is usually plenty for people to be able to trim. I just think, Peter, this thing is brilliant. It's, I love cordless. Well, I just think right away, if you're if you're listening just on your television and you hear the sound of that, I mean, I think right away you're thinking, how can that possibly be battery operated? Not only do you hear the sound of the power of it, but as guy goes through that grass, I mean, that is a, it's, there's almost no difference in my experience, guy, between this super lightweight, completely cordless, battery operated string trimmer than the gas powered units I've had in the past, yeah. or even the electrics that we plug in. This is all that lithium ion battery technology, 24 volt. I mean, the weight of this will amaze you. And you, you know, I think you'll pick it up and say, now, wait a minute, how can this possibly give you the kind of power that you want? But it will. I mean, you hear it as you fire that up. And then it has all the other features that you really want. There's no bump feed required. This is gonna automatically feed that line and you can have it in either an 11 inch or a 13 inch wide diameter. Then we have the guard right there. So you can ex it'll extend out to that guard, but you're not gonna do any damage. There, I'll turn it that way. You're not gonna do any damage to those flowers and plants. This is gonna be perfect. And maybe the best part, guy, we almost forgot about this. I can flip that up, I can turn this like that. Yeah. And so now, now it is an edger, completely cordless, battery operated edger. We'll show you that as well. It does such a great job. I think, you know, when you first see this, you're surprised. You're thinking, how can it be that great and be battery operated? And it is. Well, it really is surprising how great I, this functions. I went through two gas-powered trimmers until I decided, you know what, it's not worth it. And the problem was you have to mix the gas and the oil. They're like a chainsaw to start. They're very difficult. Uh, they're not very energy efficient because they run even while, while you're not using them. What you'll notice <clears throat> with the electric trimmer, it's power on demand. As soon as Peter pulls yeah. the trigger, and there's a little uh, safety trigger on it, so it's good, so you don't have to worry Absolutely. about the kids. Um, as soon as you pull that trigger, it, activate, it activates it. I, it's funny, I use mine every bit as much as an edger. As sure. I do, I'll show that feature as no, I do as a great. I, I just moved back here to the deeper grass. I mean, look at the way it just powers through there. We talked about this last time, Guy. If you have a small area of grass, I mean, I would say you don't even need a lawnmower the way you can really just get through this so quickly, so easily. I mean, there's no effort. Or if you have an area of your house that's very far yeah. from the house and electric's not going to work, the gas power is a hassle. This is fantastic. Show them, guys. I, I love it as an edger. And, and you've I'll got the you wheel works. that works that as well. I mean, it. there you go. Look at it. I mean, that's a finished edge. That looks great. I mean, could that be easier? And it, and it rolls on the wheel. That's kind of what guides it. Yeah, and you if you remember. stop right there, they're gonna see such an amazing difference from where, look at that, from what you already yeah. did and from where you didn't get to yet. I mean, that looks nice. And yeah. you're, you're doing this on TV and you're really quick. Hey, listen. Um, but that's I, really nice I, edge. I own an Earthwise um, a trimmer. I bought mine a couple years ago. It's not this one. This one's a little bit nicer than the one I have. Um, but I use it. Every time I cut the grass, I use it first. And I go out and I manicure the yard, I do the edging, I do around the beds, because around garden beds, you wanna be really careful. And you know, a lot of times, like I have mulch and stuff, I don't wanna run that over with the mower. Sure. So I can do that, it's great for getting rid of weeds. Uh, I'm telling great. you, I only have 700 left. This, this last time you and I had it, I think we had like we had three times the amount that we thought we were gonna uh, we were gonna go through. People love it. I think what what they love is that if you're whether you're a guy or a gal, uh, even a, even your kids, if you're starting to get them to use.
Ranger's lawn work, this could be the first power tool because sure. it's very safe. It has a it has a cover over the string, oh, yeah. um, so you're you're protected. Um, and then it's got the little uh, the little bumper, so you won't hurt your flowers. Right. It doubles as both a regular traditional trimmer and as an edger, and, and it makes less noise than the gas powered one. You never have to buy gas. It's energy efficient because it turns off when you let go of the trigger. Absolutely. It doesn't idle like a gas powered exactly. one. Exactly. It's just simply the easiest lawn yeah. tool that you're going to use that you're just going to grab that battery the battery charges in an hour and 15 minutes you can get a full charge so you charge it inside just like you do your cell phone and you're absolutely going to love this to know that it's a, a great edger i mean guys doing it it's got the little I'm wheel on the bottom the edge. you follow that edge now it's not just the edge of the driveway or the walkway and the sidewalk but also around all those flower beds that whole perimeter that you have in the front Check and the backyard out. That looks really good. Not bad. It's, now, here's the other really nice things about this. It's completely adjustable. It's, it's got a telescoping little lock right here, so you can make that shorter, or you can, we have it fully extended for Guy and I. We're a little bit taller. So that makes it simple to use for anyone. We also have the helper handle. I mean, it's so light, but that helper handle, same thing. You can slide it up and down, so it's at the perfect balance for you when you're holding with two hands. Guy mentioned the safety switch. When I go to pull that trigger, nothing happens. I hit the switch, then the trigger, I'm ready to go. When you let go, it stops, and again, you can't just go back to the trigger. And then the battery. You know, I'm gonna take that battery yeah, off for you. Pops because out, slides it's, in the charger. It's amazing, because here's the most important thing. So, we've been, I've been using mine just for a few minutes, but I still have four bars, so full power, and I can always check it by hitting that button right there. Here's the cool thing about lithium ion, and I know we talk about this, but if you've never had one, you're gonna fire up your string trimmer, just like we're doing, and you're gonna have that power. Now, normally, or years past, with the regular batteries, that power would fade halfway through. By the right. time you got done, it was barely doing anything. You are going to get full power with that lithium ion battery, that 24 volt, the entire time, so right up until the very end, full power, then the battery is gonna die. Right. Then you're gonna recharge it, and in an hour and 15 minutes, yeah, you're gonna quick. have a full charge. Hey. But you're gonna get so much done, you oh, are yeah. not gonna need to replace the battery and then go back out. Pete, talk about the the, the actual st string and how we load that up, and how do we, because I know with my, with mine, I actually have to pull the head off and try to extend it by hand, but you don't have to do that with no, this one, right? No, automatic line feed. So what that means, so for a while, the, the standard was you would bump it to feed more string yeah, out as yeah, you yeah. needed it. This is gonna auto line feed, and right here, is a cutter, so that keeps the string from going too long. So you'll see as I, as I pull that out, it can only go that far and it's gonna cut the end off the string. Now you can adjust that cutter between the 11 and the 13 inch diameter path that you're getting with this. So you really have to do nothing. Peter, there are <laughs> a lot this. of people that buy this to cut their grass. Sure. And I, and I will tell you that I have a really, really small yard. I live in a, in a small house. And I mean, Pete, you've been to my house. It's, it's I mean, you can realistically, I can cut the grass. It wouldn't take long with this no it would take me probably about 15 minutes to cut my entire lawn because as peter shows you when you're doing large areas you just kind of do a sweeping motion it just floats like over doing. the grass yeah look at that i mean it is incredibly lightweight when you're doing this but again these could be tall weeds this could be in the hard to reach places it could be all the detail work around the mailbox I mean, that is amazing what you can do with this, and it is so simple. But listen to that power. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's incredible. Battery operated. And, like, if you need to get around, like, if you have decorative stuff, see yeah. over here we've got decorative stuff. Go ahead, you take it. I can over. actually put the bumper down. Yes. So now I won't run into anything. Right, so if the bumper goes against the post on those solar lights, you know that the string is not going to reach that. So if it is delicate plants and flowers, I mean, that's why you want a string trimmer, to do all that detail work, and this allows you to do it. And, Guy, that's another great area where you can flip that over to that edger. Yep. And using, even using that edger along this this. You just did it with the string trimmer, but now as I come back with that edger, sorry guy if I'm getting you, We're, but look right. at We're that, together it here. really defines that edge so nicely. I know it's a little bit hard to see because we're way back here, yeah. but again, this is what you want a string trimmer for, to do all that detail work, to do the work that if you had to do it by hand, you either wouldn't do or it would take so long, and you yep. can do it without damaging plants and flowers and without damaging, even if it's the mailbox post and things like that. Right. But this is so powerful. Guy, I want to keep using this because I want to see if I can even get this to drop 
dropped down to three bars because the power is incredible. And the amount of time that you have to use this with full power is also really impressive. I mean, it is such a great way to go. So yeah. if you haven't gone cordless, and you know why a lot of us haven't gone to the battery operated, is because when it first you know, came out, they weren't as powerful as they are now, they didn't last as long, and they were very expensive. So we have, yeah. I think, a great value on, yeah. which is the, just I, the coolest string trimmer. They're, they're about the same price, if not cheaper, than the gas-powered ones. Oh, this is the gas much cheaper ones now. Are, the gas-powered ones are a pain in the neck, trust me. I had, like I said, I had two, um, and what happened was with mine is that you, you've gotta add gas and like a, an oil mixture inside there. Sure. It's a lot of work. With this, what I love about it is, as soon as I pull the trigger, it turns on as soon as I let go of the trigger. It turns off. I don't have to worry about the uh, about the uh, the string. The string automatically, uh, uh, you know, increases them as much as you need and automatically cuts it off. So there's no fiddling around with that. I know I'm going to get about uh, on mine at home. I get about 30 minutes, and you get you'll get about 25 to 30 minutes. Yeah, exactly. On a charge on this, and then what you do is you just bring it back in for another hour and charge it again, and you could just go on and on and on. For most people, I find, because listen, I mean, if you've got five acres of property, you probably have somebody doing that work for you, but if you're doing it yourself, and you got a, you got a yard that's, in, you know, whatever, and you're doing trimming, our garden, this is the perfect tool to have. Yeah, and I can tell you, I know, you know, Father's Day is not too far away, and to get something like this, it's incredible. So if dad is the one doing the yard work, I know that he's gonna love this, because I think maybe we've shied away from these. So if you looked at one in the past, and you remember thinking, well, I don't know if it's gonna have the same power, but you're already over and tired of the hassle of dealing with the gas and oil, and most importantly, guy, with the gas units, yeah. is starting it up. <laughs> so you're oh, never gonna have to worry about starting it again this is instant there you can see you, you charge it up like you do your cell phone it's super easy but i think this just hearing that that's all you have to hear i mean if you weren't seeing us and i told you it was gas powered you may not know the difference if you didn't hear the motor idling right yeah. when you're done i mean it's it's unbelievable the power that you get yeah. and how well it works that automatic feed how it has that protection on there so you're not going to damage plants and flowers but I'm trying to really dig into this deep grass. Can you can see how well it works? Yeah. So for those of us who have the weeds that will build up in the back areas right. in the corner of your yard, you're going to head out there and tackle it with this. It is so lightweight. So anyone can use this for Th sure. Today is a good day to get it because we're do we are offering it on free shipping and handling. We don't need to do that very often. Uh, and it's on flex pay too. So get it home for a fraction of the price. I can't read the flex pay. I think it says 24. Dollars and thirty-nine cents. That's also oh, they put it on five flex. A great deal. Uh, and check out some of the other stuff because we've got other stuff from Workwise that also has free shipping. You get a two-year uh, warranty on this guy. You're gonna have it year after year. I've had my Earthwise trimmer for two and a half years now, and the only thing I've ever had to do is I just I buy more. I have to buy more string for it once in a while, but that's it. There's yeah. no maintenance. You don't have to oil this thing. You don't have to gas it. You don't have to do nothing. I mean, I don't even clean it. I just throw it back in the shed when I'm no, done it's, with it. No, it's perfect. It yeah. does such a great job. So I was trying to run it into that heavy grass to see if I could get one bar to go down off here. So I Mine. think in the, in the amount that I've done, I probably could have done this whole thing. So I've got it down to three bars. Mine too. Mine's so, at about three. We've been working about 10 minutes. Right. So I have certainly, you know, three times. And remember, the power is not going to go down. You're not seeing any deep decrease in that power. Right. Lithium ion, it's that smooth have, delivery of full a, power. I have a rechargeable blower. Yeah. It, it When it goes out, it just it, it it slows. Going. Yeah, and I'm like, <laughs> I wish it would just stay full power until it turns off. That's what you're going to recognize with this right away. Yeah. It'll go. It'll be full power. I wish we had time to completely drain the battery. Right. Because you will hear it. It'll be just like this, and then it'll just stop. And yeah. that's it. But you, ha you don't have, you know, work where half the work is not the same right. as when you started. It's going to be amazing. Lightweight, that 24-volt lithium-ion is tremendous. It's the, the power. sweet spot, right? It's the really sweet spot. I mean, it says everything spot. you want. Yeah. And two-in-one, I love that it's the edger. How That's much does it weigh, Pete, again? Uh, five pounds? Yeah, okay. So if you're uh, if you're a woman, you're living home alone, and you're worried that you can't do your own work, yes, you can, oh, or, or a guy, whatever. Uh, you know, uh, if you're uh, getting older and you think, oh, I don't want to have a big, giant power tool dealing with that, it's only five pounds, so you can probably handle this. Uh, guys or gals, I, as I said, Eva, even your kids, uh, you know, if they're at the age where you're allowing them to start helping with the yard, this is a real simple tool to use. Uh, it's not like a you know, gas powered, which can be dangerous. Um, always watch your fingers, always wear your um, protective eyewear no matter what, um, uh, just to be on the safe side. But I will tell you, look at, look at that, Peter. 
I mean, we did this whole my area. Cut my grass beat. Look at how great that worked yeah, out. That is awesome. Yeah, we got all that high grass back there. It's I fantastic. mean, it really is. I, I've been really impressed with this. Earthwise is bring, bringing us so many great items. But now, as we're really making that switch to that unbelievable lithium ion, that cordless technology, I mean, it could not be simpler. I mean, no. it's definitely the way all of it's going. No. And now you're getting the same power. And we're going to give you a two year warranty to go with this, right. which is over and above what you would more normally expect from the home stores and stuff like that. So take advantage. Of it. Peter, great job. Thank that you so much. That was fun, guys. Thanks. All right, listen, we're going to step away. We've got a special uh, now, uh, news from Andrew Lesson. When we come back, uh, we've got our HSN launch of a brand new mixer from KitchenAid. Stick around. Hi there. Andrew Lesman here with this month's monthly special. And it really is more than one monthly special. It's four rolled into one. We had heard a lot of requests for our resveratrol product, our resveratrol 100, as a today's special. We won't have time to do it as a today's special, so we thought we'd do it as May's monthly special. And because we make 100% pure products, we had room in the capsule. And the room in the capsule, we're putting other partners of resveratrol. We're putting green tea extract, standardized for EGCG. EGCG is right up there with resveratrol in terms of anti-aging research. Also, pomegranate extract, standardized for punicalligans and ellagic acid, uh, also right up there in terms of anti-aging research. And then grapeseed extract, 100 milligrams of each, 100 milligrams of resveratrol, 100 milligrams of standardized green tea extract for EGCG, 100 milligrams of grapeseed extract, extract and 100 milligrams of pomegranate extract. All of those basically give you, at the same price, uh, the today's special price of resveratrol, you're getting all four of those compounds. So you're basically um, getting it sort of like buy one, get one free. You're saving more than you're spending for the month of May on any one of these ingredients. So enjoy. Enjoy.